Oi there, friend. Care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road, but now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the Watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Splendid! I knew I was right to put my faith in you. Now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day, but I find that time flies when I take a seat at the station to wait. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That's standard practice, and I would advise against trying any funny business. Each cart travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see? in case it encounters any monsters out on the road. So anyone thinking of riding for free will have to take the issue up with them. But enough of my lecturing. Just make sure that letter gets to Sir Lennart, then come find me when the job's done. Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time, seeing as you're doing me a favor and all. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting to hear from you. This needs to be delivered. Shall we see it done? We're to see this letter to Sir Leonard in Melv. Shall we board the ox cart as directed, Master? Ah, yes. I know just where to find this person. Follow me. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. We must rest, though the sun is still up.
I witnessed a stunning display of archery on my travels. Methinks our band would benefit from such skills. A good sleep does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Tis a chest. I shall take a look inside. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. to deliver to someone hereabouts. We need only pass our burden into the hands that await it. I quite agree. These writings could be of import. Let's have a look then. There's a ladder here. After you were risen. Well met, sir. Come on, come on. Always sets me to think of this place.
of it. You a traveller? Well, I'll not pry, but I can tell you've a strong arm. I used to be a sellsword, see? Time was, I spent every waking moment perfecting my skills. If you're anything like me, once you've reached the pinnacle of your vocation, you'll want to seek out a maester. They'll be able to teach you a skill of incomparable power. If properly persuaded, that is. I can do for you? I would gladly offer you any aid I can. Ah, we meet again. Always a pleasure. I what can I do for you? Ah, a letter from Lady Margaret, you say? It is a fair way you've come then. My thanks. She's a kindly sort, I must say. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor, on one occasion. Now she's taken to inquiring after my health at the turn of every season. Shall we report back now? That Lady Margaret's a kindly sort. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor, on one occasion. Now she's taken to inquiring after my health at the turn of every season. Follow me. I shall come at once, Arisen. Have you forgotten something, Arisen? You're looking rather lost. This ox cart's bound for Vernworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Be 
Ah, oh, here we are. The ox cart made it without too much trouble. Mayhap we can... Ah, you've returned. How did you fare on the journey to Melv? Splendid! You've been an immense help, I must say. The cart reached its destination safe and sound, and from the tell of it, you even rid the road of a few monsters. <laughs> You've certainly earned a reward, my friend. Here you are. Ox cart seems a convenient choice for longer journeys. I see no harm in making use of them as needed, Master. Right you are. Why I interest you in my humble wares? Much obliged, sir. A fair distance divides us from our destination. Mayhap a ferry stone would serve us better than our feet. Right you are. execution. Once more! Plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? I shan't let them harm me. I'll combine my magic with yours. You might cast the spell more quickly.
You truly are formidable, Arisen. Things, things. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Come, I'll lead the way. Vanguard, say no more. Onward, our work is not yet done. Shall I lead you to the location nearest here, Arisen? We were to make for Har Village, as I recall. It is not far from here. I might be so bold as to speak my mind. Different masters favor different forms. One who might serve that some of our foes excel at attacking from a distance. Handle them first, lest they unleash their follies on our heads. Understood. No one can defend themselves in a like this. a great debt for you as a token of my appreciation I am attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side in battle I shall follow your lead and prioritize support Let us proceed to the next location. It would be most efficient to make for our nearest destination first. We were to make for Har Village, as I recall. It is not far from here. Now. 
Let us proceed to the next location. Shall I lead you to the location nearest here, Arisen? We were to make for Har Village, as I recall. Tis not far from here. What is that? A tower? Nay, no, a statue. We ought to take a closer look. out what's inside. Over here, if you would. Ho! Oh, you've come to a dangerous place. Scaly beasts make this their den. We've been dispatched to cull them. A small force ventured inside, though I've seen neither hide nor hair of them since. Seems the battle is hard won. I'll not stop you if you wish to explore, but don't look for my aid if aught goes awry. We would be ill-advised to proceed without light. Can anyone hear me? We need help! I don't want to fall here! God damn lizard! This one to draw my last! I'm Sonic! The Arisen has been changed! In your debt, sir. Thanks to your valor, I shall live to fight another day. I... I am saved! Anything for you, Arisen. Off I go. Forgive me, but I cannot guide you from here. Let us proceed to the next location. On to the nearest location. We were to make for Har Village, as I recall. It is not far from here.
One never can have too many of these. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. The same foe again. Failed by the skin of our teeth. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Onward. Our work is not yet done. Most efficient to make our nearest destination first. If we were to make the hard village as I would it, it's not far from here. No, chunks be fixed. Our task is complete. Splendid. Shall we report this development to Captain Brandt? I take it you've some business with this person. Then pray, follow me. We ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. Well, oh, it was but a trick of the light. You're not one of ours. Have you come to save us? Forgive me. I cannot seem to walk of my own accord just now. Would you aid me in reaching the entrance? Over here. Is this way? Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? I can destroy that, if needed. Might I be of assistance? That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it?
Over here, if you would. You went in there to save my fellow soldiers. Well now, I underestimated you, friend. I shall send word of your deeds to the captain. You've done well this day. I thank you. We'll see to the rest of this mess. You need not trouble yourself further. Out of the cave at last. Such dark depths take their toll on the spirit. I quite agree. Oh, I'm saved. You have my gratitude, friend. Were it not for your aid, I'd have died a dog's death. Over here, if you would. Hold, sir. I'd rethink pressing onward if I were you. The village is crawling with Saurians. Forgive me. I didn't mean to startle you. I used to call this place home, you see, in times more peaceful. Hmm. You're the Arisen, are you? Well, that's something. We were hoping to reclaim our village, but it doesn't seem we'll have much luck. We fled when the dragon attacked, some days past, thinking we'd return once the baleful thing was gone. Easier said than done, clearly. In our absence, a bosk of Saurians have made our homes their own. What are we to do? The guards not like to send soldiers all the way out here. Ah, but mayhap they needn't at all. You are the Arisen, I. Could we trouble you to aid us in our hour of need? Please, sir, do something, anything about the Saurians infesting our village. Saurians are bound, Master. Be on your guard. Careful now. There, Master. Saurians! Fire's fury shot. Oh, most different. Oh, I would 
seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. One of us is being drenched! Shall we report our result? Is the deed done, good arisen? Oh, thank you. Thank you. We shall all be able to return to our homes at last. I can hardly wait to bring these tidings to the other villagers. I dare say we'll have this place livable again ere long. I cannot thank you enough. Long will you be known as a friend to our village. If you happen to pass by, do come visit us, won't you? I should like for you to see this place as twas afore the dragon's attack. For your sake, as well as ours, we'll do our utmost to see the village restored. With this, the peril has passed. Still, perhaps we ought to visit the village again and on, just to be certain. Right you are. Me thinks this will be of interest to Captain Brandt. Shall we go inform him? I take it you've some business with this person. Then pray, follow me. Oh, nice place this. I'm in no hurry to leave. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. No harm in picking a few. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. Shall we report this development to Captain Brandt? Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. This is generally used as a... Another statue? May have to yield us sort of use. Shall we search for a path to lead us to it? See that? Or catches the light. We ought to take a closer look. Methinks this will be of interest to Captain Brandt. 
Shall we go inform him? Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. Daring arisen. Has aught yonder caught your eye? So hungry. <laughs> Keep working. Ah. I'll get that for you. Come, I'll lead the way. Master. The ogre is upon us. We have no means of exposing our enemy's weakness. the most of this opportunity. Strike fast, and our quarry shall fall. Having more of these to hand ought to serve us well in battle. 
What say we pelt one at the next foe we encounter? Now to report to Captain Brandt. He thinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. As you wish, I shall return directly. Now to report to Captain Brandt. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. Pray, follow me. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Over here, if you please. I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Over here, Master. Did you lose sight of me? Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. The person we're here to meet is nowhere to be seen. Shall we come back later? The current hour ill suits our progress. Let us visit an inn or make camp and set out again later.
Greetings, Your Majesty. Have you a moment to speak? much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. You've done a fine job culling those monsters, your majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Deesa can no longer deny your presence. And here it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. Nought compares to the sense of achievement that accompanies a job well done. Indeed. You've called more than your fair share of monsters. I expect tales of your valor will soon be told in taverns. I concur. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. For some time now, it was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds, but as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign that one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and t'would be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. While examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds, I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it seems she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flour. What's more, this inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be arisen, appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude that these sums are passing into the hands of Arthur himself. Yet, tis strange, for sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Vermont. I dare say, t'was not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign. Tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. I am glad to hear it, for I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deesa's scheme and securing your enthronement. 